Restless leg syndrome, uh, the society's slogan used to be the most common disease you'd ever heard of. Uh, and I think awareness of that disease is probably uh, better now than it was even five or 10 years ago. Mm. Uh, and from the point of view of a sleep physician, the reason to be aware of it is sometimes people don't characterize it as a disease. They know they have unpleasant feelings in their legs that interfere with sleep at night, and it gets better when they move their legs around. That can be a result of certain underlying medical conditions, other drugs, and mm. more importantly, is, is typically very responsive to medical therapy. Uh, so that could be a very oh, wow. satisfying diagnosis because you can really make that problem go away. Narcolepsy is a disease where the, the brain's uh, ability to switch between wake and sleep is affected. Uh, they, they lack typically a, a signal called orexin, uh, which is responsible for that switching. And so they have a combination of extreme sleepiness during the day, difficulty maintaining sleep at night, and can have these dramatic episodes called cataplexy, where they, they all of a sudden drop into REM sleep, where our bodies are paralyzed. So they can go from waking to just falling to the ground. It's less common, and it's, yeah. uh, it's a diagnosis that is out there, and we do diagnose people with that uh, condition in the sleep lab, but it doesn't really represent the bulk of sleep disorders out there. Uh, insomnia, the other one that you mentioned, yeah. though, is, is very common. Uh, and it's so intimately related with lifestyle and stress that most people can recall at least you know one or two bad nights, uh, but then it can really spill over into becoming more of a chronic condition, mm. uh, a more difficult to treat condition. 